In Michigan, judges are selected by election. So we all get to pick who our judges are gonna be the voters. Uh, the, the difference is that when a judge leaves midterm, for whatever reason, retires, dies, then the governor gets to make the appointment for the rest of the term. Okay, so I assume if someone's appointed by the governor to fill a vacancy, they serve out the term, but then they would have to run for re-election. Exactly. So for example, the Supreme Court in Michigan, the judges serve eight-year terms. If there was three years left on a judge's term or a justice's term, the governor would make that appointment. They'd serve out the rest of the term and then they'd have to run for re-election. Okay. If there's an appointment by the governor, does it require, you know, confirmation vote from the Michigan Senate or something like that? Just the similarity? It, you know? yeah, it doesn't. Really, the governor gets to pick. There's no confirmation. Really, the check on the power is the election itself when that person has to run for re-election. But that can be problematic because the incumbency designation is a tremendous advantage in judicial elections. The incumbent almost always wins. And you see that, for example, in Ingham County right now, you have two incumbent judges that are running and no one is even running against them. They're running for re-election. And then there's a judicial vacancy in Ingham County and there's at least six lawyers running for that seat because they don't have to run against an incumbent. Are there other judicial vacancies that pe people may be voting on this election? Absolutely, there's some big ones. So you have two spots that are, are up for election in the Michigan Supreme Court. You have one incumbent running, and then you'll have many other people uh, also running for, for that spot. And the top two vote getters will fill those two seats. And then the Court of Appeals are elected by region of the state. And so here in, in our region, in Lansing, there's a, a spot available on the Michigan Court of Appeals also. Michigan allows straight party voting, but judges aren't identified by a party, right? Yeah, so that's a, a real big deal. The judicial uh, candidates are in the nonpartisan part of the ballot. There's a huge drop off where people vote or they'll vote straight party and, and they don't make it to the end of the ballot. And the judicial candidates are obviously very important. We want fair and good people deciding things. Uh, and so it's important that everybody not only vote the partisan portion of the ballot, but also the nonpartisan portion.